So the Samsung Galaxy Fold has been delayed. Well, the launch has been delayed. The official word has finally come from Samsung. We heard rumblings over the weekend that yes, the China event was being delayed. Now everyone's saying, yes, yes, it's a terrible device. No, it's not. I'm gonna give you something a little bit more level-headed here, right? And especially coming from Samsung's uh, response, I think we can see where some of the issues really lay with this device. Now, I still have my Galaxy Fold, I've been using it here, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you what I'll be doing with this device as we move forward. But let's talk about what Samsung said in their press release. So they started off by saying, we recently unveiled a completely new mobile category, a smartphone using multiple new technologies and materials to create a display that is flexible enough to fold. We're encouraged by the excitement around the Galaxy Fold. Now I'm gonna move over to the fourth paragraph. I will have this here on screen so you guys can take a look at it. Initial findings from the inspections of reported issues on display showed that they could be associated with impact on the top and bottom exposed areas of the hinge. Basically where people were removing uh, the top layer of the film that, or the, the film layer, if you will. Uh, there also was an instance where substances were found underneath the, the device that affected the display's performance. So I'm thinking maybe dust or something like that. I don't know. But what this says here is that basically we're looking at something where uh, Samsung uh, is trying to basically make sure that nobody opens up that uh, top layer film, if you will. So that is something to take note. Now they go on to say, we will take measures to strengthen the display protection. We'll also enhance the, gu the guidance uh, on care and use of display, uh, oh, guidance on care and use of the display, including the protective layer. So our customers get the most uh, out of the Galaxy Fold, meaning they'll give you a big, big attention. Please do not remove this. Uh, and then they finally round up by saying we value and trust our customers placed in the US and they are always our top priority. Samsung is committed to working closely with um, our customers and partners to move the industry forward. We want to thank them for the patience and understanding. So I say this is a good thing. Now some might be saying, look, this is terrible for Samsung, but no. They haven't released this device. It's not out there. And it's good this happened with reviewers. Um, now, that being said though, I still think the display is solid and I have no issues with it. I have been using my Galaxy Fold here and it works out pretty well. Apologize for that noise in the background there. But here's my Galaxy Fold and it works out pretty well. What I will be doing is I will give you updates on this device as long as I have it. If I have to send it back, I'll let you know that I've sent the device back. I'll wait for something else. But I'm not gonna give you a review on the Galaxy Fold because let's be honest, now, they are making some changes to it. So there will no, there'll be no review from me on the Galaxy Fold. But what I will say though is this, that I like the fact that they have come out and said we are going to handle this. They don't wanna have another fiasco like they did with the, uh, the Galaxy Note. Note 7, and that is something that I think that, that makes a lot of sense. Yes, a lot of people made noise about this. A lot of people said, look, Samsung needs to fix uh, some of these issues. And I do agree that yes, going ahead and fixing the issues they have. But to me, it seems very clear from the press release that the issue is not the display or the folding technology, it's the protective layer on top of the display and, and protecting the display in general. Again, this has worked out really well so far, like, again, for me. For me, for, for, for a few other people, not so much. Again, we have to put in perspective. 100 units were sent out, uh, about five of them had issues, three of them people peeled it off, and two had just random what have you's there. So it's good Samsung is doing this. Now they did say that yes, they will announce in the next coming weeks when the launch date will be for the Galaxy Fold. And um, we'll wait to see what that is. But from indications from Bloomberg, it's sometime in May. So. Let's see, let's see what happens. But in the meantime, I will still give you my updates on the fold as long as I have it. I'll do some more gaming stuff on there. I'll give you my thoughts after uh, using it for about a week. No review. I know some people have dropped reviews out there like The Verge uh, and Engadget. I am not putting up a review because I still don't think it's time to put up a review. I usually do 30 days anyway. But there you have it guys. If you have any questions or any comments about the Galaxy Fold, uh, especially with the delay happening, let us know. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.